Hello everyone, this is Jason. Thanks for tuning in for this third and final video of the 1.5 ton excavator review. Uh, this is a lengthier video, so in the description below I have divided the content according to its timeline and that will uh, help you to find um, the content easier uh, rather than watch the whole video. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, make sure you hit subscribe and like and also visit my other videos uh, where you can just uh, type in landscape buddy uh, excavator in the search bar or you can hit my icon there and it will take you to my uh, YouTube page and uh, in the playlist there is the uh, all the videos I have done and um, under the playlist there's a icon for landscape buddy uh, you can find a lot more information about these little excavators so be sure to do that the content of this video is basically three parts the first part is talking about the uh, disappointments from video number two and um, they all have been corrected and uh, just showing some proof uh, videos of that and the second portion is the sharing with you my buying process uh, of this 1.5 ton excavator so that way you have a complete idea of what you need to do. Uh, the third portion of this video is basically to share a little bit of my future project. So uh, that being said, let's get started. What you see here is the list of disappointments from video number two. If you have not seen the video, uh, please go ahead and watch that and you will know exactly what I was talking about. So rather than saying these are fixed, it's probably better to say they were upgrade. And the reason is that now you see these two flyers, two pages of flyers. And um, this was the 1.5 ton excavators that they were working on. And um, exactly just like that, no boom swing, no hydraulic thumb. Um, you know, the uh, travel was direct linkage to the, to, the, to the valves. And also I would assume that this one has no hydraulic um, safety locks as well. So if I would have seen this flyer earlier, uh, probably those questionable uh, controls will be fixed. Okay, what you see here are the two foot pedals, one for the boom swing and one for the hydraulic thumb, and which was uh, missing from prototype number two. And uh, what you see next is the pilot control for the traveling and also the missing <laughs> coolant reservoir. When the excavator completed, the factory will send a short video uh, of the excavator being tested out in, in their factory yard. You see here this particular machine is ordered by a customer in Canada and it's being shipped directly from China factory to them and they will always take a video of all the content that will be put in and here is a snapshot of the landscape buddy excavator package it always comes with the quick change installed and the hydraulic thumb on top of that and it always comes with the boom swing and the three buckets that goes with the excavator I have asked the factory to include a pair of attachment plates uh, comes complete with its own pin so i know many of you out there are uh, very creative you can make your own um, attachments to fit your needs and if you ever do so please send me some pictures of uh, what you made and um, yeah i can share with the uh, with the community that can benefit other people as well What I'm sharing with you next is the contract I signed directly with the factory. And the manufacturer's name is called He Chuang. And these two Chinese characters uh, meaning collaboration and innovation. So their excavators often bear the label HC, and you may have seen it uh, here and there. Um, and so when you see the contract, the first page has your contact info and also the item that you are purchasing uh, along with the prices and stuff and the second page and third page are the terms pretty much the last page bears your signature and the seal from the factory and that kind of made it official uh, to me the contract terms are kind of uh, I mean useless for us foreigners just because you know it, it specify the terms of litigations and you know things like that and for us it's like you know we're not going to travel all the way to china just to do a litigation right so uh, but because i personally visit the factory talk to the guy have been doing business with him for quite a few you know excavator imports so i find him trustworthy and there is no problem for me to sign and also to wire the money so for the guys who have never done it before, it may sound very scary, 
and uh, totally understand because that was how I feel the first time when I wired the money to buy this excavator. Um, the next issue you see is the packing list and the sea freight charge. Uh, the packing list is what you need to file with the uh, US Custom and uh, later we're going to total all the costs together so you have a good idea how much this 1.5 ton excavator uh, cost me to import and for me to pick up and that should give you a pretty good idea of what you would be expecting to pay and this page shows the freight forwarding charge again the prices are uh, circled and um, you can pause the video to get a more close look on the itemized charges as well as the contract that we showed earlier just get some ideas is the email from the custom broker saying that the cargo is being able to pick up and uh, pick up location, how much I need to pay the warehouse. The final page is from the custom broker. It shows the import tax and a lot of people get turned away from it, but let's face it, um, you know, you buy domestic and you won't be able to find anything uh, cost less. All right, so if you have not done any importing and you are still on the fence, go ahead and check out my other video step-by-step -step for importing. I use another example of the excavator that I purchased um, so that in that video it covers a little different stuff please be sure to watch it so you know what you need to do to import at this point let's add all the costs of this excavator and see what is my true cost for me to pick up from the custom port um, all right let's do this so the excavator cost me eight thousand dollars the sea freight I pay for fifteen hundred twenty four dollars freight forwarding was seven hundred forty dollars the import tax was two thousand and thirty five hundred thirty five dollars. Uh, the filing fee was one hundred eighty five. The warehouse fee was two hundred twenty six. The warehouse ramp fee because I went with a trailer that requires the forklift to come down of their loading dock that charged me another seventy five. Um, some miscellaneous things like bank wiring. Um, I did two times, so it was $70. And so the total cost was $12,856 uh, plus my time of picking it up. In all consideration, for an excavator this size, comes with all the buckets, hydraulic thumb. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. But say if you need to have someone to do the domestic trucking for you with this excavator this size, it's probably like $2,500. So another 25 onto it, it comes to be 15,000. So 15,000 is kind of pushing the envelope, right? Um, you know, if you have a good credit, you can go to a dealer, put down maybe like 10 grand and go home with a brand new machine. You don't have to deal with any of these reliable dealer support, you know? Um, if you may get something close to 15,000, and it's very possible with the uh, two ton or 1.5 ton size. From our recent auction examples, it is possible. So then you don't have to deal with this, but the problem is there's only one excavator and there are a lot of buyers, so you may not get it, all right? So laying out all these facts for you to consider what is the best option for you, okay? So many of you have asked me how to order a Landscape Buddy excavator package. And um, at some point, I will post all the available models from the factory, including their most simple factory direct models, and also the price list for the attachments. That way, you can you know decide what you want, add it up, and that's the price. The factory will be able to write your contract, uh, just as what you see here, and send it to you with a seal. So some people will ask me, so Jason, how much do you charge? Um, when I started out doing the excavator, it was primarily for my own use, and I have spent so much time and get it to you know ready, and I just thought it's just make it available for other people if they also want it. So I'm not really charging anything. Neither does the factory pays me. Um, they do me a lot of favor, so I'm kind of returning a favor in some ways. But that being said, if you want to importing an entire container, like 10 or 20 uh, excavators at, a, at once, and for resale purpose, what I can do is I can offer my service to you at 5% markup of the uh, container price. Okay, so that way you still have a very good margin to resale. And uh, if someone's working with you, make sure you get the product that you want and uh, make sure you, you, you can have a viable and uh, profitable business as well. Okay, you can uh, get in touch with me.
But for those of you who are just getting one individual unit for personal use, I do not charge you. Uh, but that being said, if you want to thank me by sending me a gift card, by all means, I do uh, accept that. And the um, customer uh, I helped, he actually offered my family to stay at their cottage for a whole week. And I would even, you know, be glad to uh, take that offer. Okay, so that being said, hopefully my information that I post on YouTube are of help. And uh, if you can benefit, it's great. Okay, um, yeah, always. If we have something to offer, it's better to give than uh, receive. And yes, don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and I will see you in my next video. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Jason. Um, what I'm going to share with you is my next project. The 1.5 ton excavator modification is pretty much complete. Um, anything over 1.5 ton, I think the market has a lot of uh, good selections, including domestic um, units and used units. So to try to modify one, I think it's just, you know, waste of time. But anyway, um, so what I'm sharing with you next is my project of me walk behind skid steers. Again, this is birthed out of my own personal need because I'm a landscape contractor and I do need to move dirt all the time and I need to have small footprint uh, machines. That's my next. All right, you can stay tuned. I'm going to start doing more reviews on these little things and hopefully I'll be able to have the manufacturer help me um, put my design in, in production or maybe prototype or something. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. If not done so, please hit like or subscribe and definitely leave me your comments below. As always, thanks for watching and you have a great day. See you next time.